Very good morning. Uh, please give me your resume. So, please give your self introduction. Uh, sir, I am very glad to uh, introduce myself to you, sir. Myself, Srinivasan Naidu Mesala. I was born and raised in Ekkalapalli village, which is in Vijayanagara district, Andhra Pradesh. I just completed my B.Tech graduation in computer science as a mainstream in Sri Sevani College of Engineering, Chilakpalam. There I have learned a lot of things, gained confidence, and lost my stage fear. I completed my intermediate in Narana Junior College, Rajam, and schooling from Ramadabharti School, Chikrupalli. There I had developed my leadership qualities. I did my internship in HMI Engineering Services and where I had done a project on e-forming by using Java full stack uh, development and uh, I, I done a project in my VTech on uh, crop yield prediction and efficient use of fertilizers and pesticide recommendation system using machine learning algorithms. I have a beautiful family of four members. Uh, this includes my father, my mother, me and my little brother. Um, my hobbies are listening to music playing volleyball, traveling with my friends, and participating in charity works. Uh, my strengths are honest, patience, self-motivated, and I am a quick learner. My weakness is that I take on too much responsibility. My long, my short end goal is to, be near, uh, to get a job in a reputed company as yours, uh, in which I can grow my skills and get more knowledge. My long term goal is uh, to be in a respectful position where I work. That's all I have myself. Okay, very good. So can I ask you some uh, aptitude question? Ah, yes sir. Okay, very good. So can you tell me 10 plus 10 divide 10? What is the answer? Uh, answer is uh, 11 sir. How? Uh, here uh, according to Adamas rule, uh, we should uh, give preferred for uh, divisibility rule sir. Here 10 divisible by 10 is 1. Uh, and uh, after that uh, divisibility rule, we need to add 10. So, uh, 1 plus 10 equals to 11. Sir. Okay, very good. And you are telling that according to bold mass, first we have to divide. Then 10 plus 10 divide 1, so 10 plus 1, 11. Okay, good. And uh, can you tell me uh, that is 2 divide 1 by 2 is what? 2 divide uh, 1 by 2. Yes. Two, seconds. 2, okay, so 2 divide 1 upon 2. One, sir. You need paper? Check it. 2 divide 1 by 2. Okay. 2 divide 1 by 2. Two divide 1 upon 2. 2 is only 2 and then divide 1 upon 2. Yes. Yes, here answer 4. Sir. Okay, 4 is correct answer. So, can you tell me how? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, we need to reciprocal. Uh, we need uh, when we given uh, uh, divisible. Okay. So, we need to multiply, sir, after uh, reciprocal. Okay. So, here 2 uh, multiply 2 equal to 4, sir. Okay, good. That means when there is a divide. Then first you convert divide in multiply and then go for reciprocal. So you are telling 2 into a 2 by 1, 4. Okay, correct answer. Can you tell me 0 0.2 power 3 is how much? Uh, 0 0.008, sir. 0 0.00, correct answer. Can you tell me how? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, if uh, how many uh, times do we, uh, we are multiplying? We uh, we need to put uh, decimals uh, after zero uh, dot seven. Okay, very good. That we were telling zero point two Q means we are multiplying zero point three, three times. times. So, so eight and after three digit there is a decimal. So zero point double zero. Okay, good. So one more question. Can you tell me what is the sum of all natural number from one to twenty? Uh, yes, sir. Here answer is two ten sir. 10. Okay, very good. So you have given very fast answer. How? Uh, here uh, the rule is uh, n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay, so what is n here? Here n is uh, 20, sir. Uh, 20 into 20, uh, 21 by 2, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, so one question I am asking from you the profit and loss question. Tell me if, pro if uh, cost price is given, selling price is given, then how can we understood that there is a profit or loss? Uh, yes, sir. If uh, selling price is more than cost price, sir, uh, it becomes a profit, sir. Okay. Uh, if uh, 
selling price is less than a cost price, it becomes a loss, sir. Okay, very good. Correct answer. Can you tell me what is the formula of loss per cent? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, loss into hundred uh, loss into hundred by cost price, sir. Okay, good. So one more question of percentage. Tell me if any number increase by twenty percent, and again same number decrease by twenty percent. Then what will be the percentage increase or decrease in that number? Uh, you understood the question? Ah uh, yes sir. Okay. Ah, uh, the answer is uh, four sir. Uh, uh, My question is what is the percentage increase or decrease in number? Ah uh, yes so, sir. Yes. Uh, here uh, four percent is decrease. Sir. Four percent decrease. Okay, very good. Correct answer. So can you explain this answer? Ah uh, yes sir. Uh, here uh, there is a technique. Uh, a square by hundred, sir. Okay. Uh, here the A is uh, twenty, sir. Twenty into or uh, twenty by hundred. Okay. Here four hundred by hundred. That means you can use the technique anywhere when there is a same percentage increase and same percentage decrease given. Okay. So one more question. Can you tell me same trick question? So I am asking that the if uh, any number increase by suppose two percent and decrease by two percent. And what will be the percentage increase and decrease that number? Uh, increase by two percentage and, and decrease uh, by two percent. Uh, here, uh, yes, sir. Zero point two percent is decrease. Zero point two percent not correct. Again, check. My question is: Suppose any number two percent increase, a same number again two percent decrease. Then what will be the percentage increase or decrease in the number? Uh, Yeah, twenty five, sir. Twenty five. No, you have told me that a square by hundred. So yes, a is what? Two. Uh, a is what? Two, sir. So two, two, two square is what? Four. Four, four by hundred. That means zero point zero. Zero point zero. Four is correct answer. Okay. So be confident. No problem. Okay. Tell me, ah, uh, what is the greater between ah uh, seven by eight and nine by eight? Which is greater? Ah, uh, here ah uh, nine by eight is greater, sir. Okay. How? Here the uh, denominator is same, sir. So oh, you need to take uh, the largest number of numerator. Okay, very good. And can you tell me uh, that is uh, which is greater, four by five or seven by five? Uh, here uh, four by five and, and seven by five. Seven by five, sir. Uh, four by five is greater. Ah, oh, sorry, seven by five is greater. Okay. Yes, seven by five is greater. Okay. So be confident. No problem. Okay. You are good students. So just you tell me zero point one multiply zero point two. How much? Uh, here zero point zero two, sir. Zero point zero two. Okay. Very good. Correct answer. So can you give me a seminar of two three minutes for any topic of aptitudes? Ah uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, I will give. Uh, Usability rules uh, from uh, two to eleven, sir. Okay, no problem. Okay, just go and go and give uh, give them seminar. Okay. Sir. Today uh, I am giving uh, seminar about divisibility rules of uh, from uh, from two to eleven. Uh, here uh, divisibility rule of two. Is uh, we need to check if the digit number is uh, is even or not. So, uh, for example, we are taking two forty six. Here the six is even number. So here the total number is divisible by two. Coming to the divisibility rule of three. Here, uh, for for example, we are taking the number two four six. So uh, we need to uh, we need to take sum of the odd digits. So we need to uh, we need to uh, sum total digits two plus four plus six. Here the two plus four six plus six twelve twelve can uh, divisible by three. So that here the total number can be divisible by three. Coming to the divisibility rule of four. Here. Uh, The total number of um, the given number uh, is uh, last two digit number is divisible by two. 
then the total number will be uh, divisible by 4 uh, then total number will be divisible by 4 here uh, for example uh, 256 here 56 can be divisible by 4 then total number can be divisible by 4 then divisibility rule of 5 now if uh, the digit place for example we are taking 270 uh, here the digit place is uh, contain with any 0 or 5 then the total number can be divisible by 5 the divisibility rule of 6 here uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, find the divisibility rule of 2 and divisibility rule of 3 after the both conditions are true, uh, are true then the total number can be uh, divisible by 6 and coming to the divisibility rule of 7 here there is uh, no technique uh, we need to find uh, basic method next coming to the rule of 8 Here, uh, divisibility rule of 8 means uh, we need to find uh, the last 3 digit number which is divisible. For example, we are taking 5, 6, 7, 4. We need to take the last digit number. If the last 3 digit numbers is divisible by 8, then uh, it will, the total number will be divisible by 8. Uh, and coming to the divisibility rule of 9 here uh, we we need to find uh, the sum of uh, sum of all digits is divisible by 3 then total number will be divisible by 3 coming to the 10 divisibility rule of 10 uh, if the uh, number contains digits uh, in digit place uh, is 0 then uh, total number will be divisible by 10 for example if the number is uh, 10,010 10, here the in one place, digit place uh, is 0 only it can be divisible by 10 coming to the divisibility rule of 11 here uh, we take an example number 5151 5, 1. if the total number is total of even place and odd place is same so uh, the total number is uh, divisible by uh, 11 for example this is uh, even uh, odd place 5 plus 5 equals to 10 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, the number is not divisible by 11. That's all.